guys, we're gonna hit 25,000 subscribers today, finally! Oh my gosh, we've been waiting. Subscribers? Yeah, Kingston, we're gonna have 25,000 subscribers today. We only need four more. It's probably going to take like an hour for <laughs> to get four more subscribers. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. Violet's still sleeping, so <laughs> she's always sleeping when we're going to reach a new goal. Yay, so I'm on. Oh, we just hit it. Thank you. We just hit it. Woohoo! So I'm on um, Mommy's Morning Makeup chat um for mommy from mommy and gracie and she just told everyone to come subscribe and they did thank you whoa look at all of them now all right thanks mommy last year um daddy and gracie were out when um when we hit 500,000 subscribers and it was right at whoa look at that's a nice jump and it was right after i had had the um, the chemo, so I was really feeling, feeling crappy, sick, and nasty and everything, and I was in bed, and I watched it happen alone, and I just sat there, and I was crying, because I was alone, and because steroids made me very emotional, and when they came home, I was like, <laughs> nobody was here with <laughs> me. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. We love you it so much. I just hit uh, 25,000 subscribers. Yay! Woo! I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm so psyched! That is so awesome! Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. You and your blankets. Look at you. Anyway! <laughs> we're gonna have so many subscribers! Oh, guess what, Violet? We reached 25,000 subscribers today! <laughs> I was um mommy for mommy and Gracie was on a live stream this morning and we were almost to 25,000 subscribers and I and I was chatting with her in the chat and she's like oh my gosh she's like everyone go subscribe right now and so a bunch of people went over and subscribed and we hit 25,000 subscribers <laughs> you're watching Pingu yeah Why don't you put some clothes on? You're just gonna wrap yourself in blankets all day? <laughs> so, we have to go to the vets this afternoon because Sugar, last night I discovered a wound on her back, which I have no idea how she got it. Um, we, I didn't see it yesterday morning, and then we went out and we came home last night, and, hi hey, Sugar baby. And there was a wound on her back, and she was like pulling the hair out around it. Um, hi, sugar bun. It's right there on the back. Her hair is kind of covering it, but it does not look pretty at all. It is kind of scary. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know if she got a bug bite or um, she fell and scratched her back and it was bothering her and she was picking at it. I have no idea, but I don't want it to get infected. So we have to take her to the vet, which she hates. So <laughs> getting her in the little crate is like, it's hard because I, she, I, do, I, don't, I do not pick up sugar because I'm afraid she'll bite me. She does not like to be picked up. Little BB bun, I can pick her up and she's fine. But sugar does not like to be picked up. She, look at sugar's, she's biting at her. She was just, yep, yeah, she's picking at it. It's either itchy or it hurts or something. She's trying to deal with it, but, so the only thing I'm concerned about is if they put medicine on it and she keeps biting at it, she's going to just like lick away the medicine. Sugar bunny, what's wrong with it? What happened to you? My baby, I don't know, maybe if she has little mites, um, fur mites or something, or fleas. I don't see fleas on her. She's had fleas before from Raven. Um, 
But I don't see fleas this time, so I don't know if it's mites or a bug bite, spider bite. I have no clue. But she's really, like, biting at it, and I don't like that. She's making it worse. But she's acting normal in every other way. She's eating, drinking, peeing, pooping. She's scratching at her ears. So uh, maybe it is mites. I don't know. So the vet will check her out and treat her for whatever this is. Oh, BB bun's okay. Whoop. BB bun's going cuckoo. But she's fine. Uh, let's see, she's just been picking, picking, picking at that. Stop! You're gonna hurt yourself! Ooh, my baby. See? Ooh, yuck. I don't know what the heck that is. It's scary, though. So, we're going to the vet this afternoon. So we have to take Sugar to the vet, and she's trying to get back. I had to lock her cage so she can't go run in there and hide. She wants to go back in. She will not get in here. And I don't pick up Sugar because I'm afraid she'll bite me, so I'm trying to lure her in with little treats. And it's not working. She's smart. She knows better. So I'm trying to do this early so we're not late for our appointment. And just get her in there and get her settled. Come here, baby. Look, I got a treat. Oh, I got a treat. Yum. Don't bite me. I got a treat for you. Sugar bonbon. I got treats. I got them. Come here. I got him. She's like, nope. Let me in my cage. I know what you're doing. So, <laughs> I hate trying to pick her up. Because she, like, flips, you know, try, like flips out, and I don't want her to hurt herself. So, but I may have to try, and I have my arms covered with this sweatshirt in case she tries to bite me. It's okay, so I got her in there. I just kind of put her, the little carrier, up against and kind of cornered her in so she had nowhere to go, and she went in. But she's got some snacks in there. Poor thing. I hate taking her to the vet. Bunnies do not like to travel. They get very nervous, but it's all right, baby. But we got to go and see what the heck happened to your back. Superman. Well, this is a boy area. Nice. Yeah. Kingston's going to wait out here while Sugar goes in the vet. Eight. It's not even Sugar eight. Can I Don't put your feet on the seat. Sugar bun buns. It's okay. They look really bad for her. She's like, heck no, why am I here again? Last time I was here, you had surgery. She's shaking. Oh, my baby. Hi, sweetie. They shaved her back and gave her laser therapy. And she has to take an antibiotic. I took out the second layer in her cage because I don't know if she fell and scraped her back against the wood or what. So I took it out for now. So Violet just left me. She went to sleep over her friend Cameron's house. But that is okay because tonight is my favorite night of the summer. Every single year. This is my favorite thing ever. I am a huge Big Brother fan and Big Brother starts tonight on CBS at 8 o'clock and so I'm going to be sitting in front of that TV right there watching Big Brother as soon as it starts. I have been watching since I think season 10 and I've watched all the other seasons um, you know in between because I'm obsessed with Big Brother and if I miss an episode like I get really upset about it and I watch Big Brother After Dark and like I really get invested and I actually think that I might go ahead and sign up for the live feeds this year um, so I can watch what they're doing in the house when it's not on because it's I don't know for me it's like summer and Big Brother are go hand in hand so I'm super super excited this is not sponsored by CBS or Big Brother I just really love it. So, um, Kingston's upstairs on his video game, like normal. 
that's what he likes to do. So I'm going to get myself ready for some Big Brother. Guys, I just got my own player model. You downloaded your own player models yeah, for Gary's Mod? I got a Game Beast player model. King said love Game Beast. Yeah, I got a Game Beast player model and I got a new mod called Pac-Man. Cool. Yeah, but mine, you can also change your enemy child's um, body. You can change their eyes to kind of like white. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. So, Mom, you can even change your color game beast. Kind of like red, blue, purple, white, or black. So, any color you want. So, I'm going to go back upstairs. Okay, see you later. Bye. So funny, every time Kingston comes downstairs, Raven whines. Like, she starts... She like gets all upset like he's like messing up like her I don't know like he freaks her out I have no idea every single time he wakes up or comes downstairs and starts talking she starts whining <laughs> and she likes Kingston I mean she cuddles with him it's not like she doesn't like him she's known him since he was born she's just getting old huh he was getting old and whiny. All right, here we go, big brother. Yay! Where's Julie Chen? So I just got done watching Big Brother. It was two hours. It was really good. The only thing I'm disappointed in this season is they don't have anyone older. They have one 50-year-old guy, and then the whole rest of the cast is under 30 years old. So, except for the people that came back. Spoiler alert! Um, four people came back from old seasons, so um, three of them are probably in their 30s, but there's nobody in their 40s, there's like nobody else in their 30s. The whole cast is hot and in their 20s, which I think is kind of a bummer because when I think of Big Brother and all the other seasons, it's like a mix of like everybody. It's like 20 year olds, 30 year olds, 40 year olds, even 50 year olds, and just like now they're kind of making it, if you don't fit in a bikini then you don't make the cut so that's kind of disappointing but I'm still gonna watch because I do like some of the um, cast so far me and my friend are <laughs> chatting or texting each other about it like I'm obsessed guys if any of you guys watch Big Brother let me know in the comments <laughs> sugar seems to be doing good now she's eating She's jumping out of her cage because she doesn't want to get locked in, huh? Yeah. See her back. Oh, my poor baby. I don't know what happened. But she had laser therapy and some antibiotics. And she's doing just fine. Yes, she is. She's doing just fine. Yes, she is. Oh, you guys, I also wanted to give you some really cool news and another adoption update. I did post an adoption update video yesterday. But we got another update. We are officially logged into China, which means our dossier has been logged in and now it's in translation. So that's gonna take about another month or so to go to the next step. So very exciting news today. Very, very exciting. And that is it for the vlog today. I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna go lay down with Kingston in my room because we all know Kingston sleeps with me every night. And Sugar is doing good, and BB is doing good, and Raven is doing good. Is she ready for night night too? Yeah, you ready for night night? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.